Today is a full body stretch workout to help you feeling great and ready for the weekend. But remember, stay on point with your nutrition by keeping healthy protein snacks with you at hand all weekend long. This is a beginner warm up. It's low impact, low intensity to get you ready for exercise. So let's go. Feet are apart. We're just going to warm up the shoulders, just one arm around at a time. Starting to get your breathing right, setting your intention for your workout ahead. Nice big arm circles. And let's switch sides, switch arms. The aim of a warm up is just to get your blood flowing, get your heart rate up, and get your muscles ready for the workout ahead. Three more times around. And then let's move into a shoulder press. So, hands are by your shoulders. You're going to push up and down, up and down. So, you're not pushing right up overhead, you're just pushing slightly out in front. Just warming up those shoulders. Our next exercise is going to warm up your triceps. So now, arms are into the side and just push the arms back. Stretching out the triceps. And as we go through, our movements get bigger. The blood starts flowing. Now let's warm up the sides of the body. So feet are apart, one hand on the thigh. We're just going to reach over and reach back. We'll warm up one side first and then the other. You can have a slight bend in the knees if you need to. And you can always use your hand to support your weight if you're not used to doing sideways movements. Let's just do one more to this side and switch sides. As you go through, you'll start to feel your breathing will increase and you'll start to feel the sides of your body stretching out. Now our next exercise is to stretch out the back and the calf. So bring your feet together. You want to stretch out the calf muscle and round out the back. Come back to standing. Rounding out at the back, eyes are looking at the floor. And then you're pulling that toe towards your shin to feel a stretch down your calf. Keep it going. Now let's go back to warming up the center of the body with a simple pivot. Feet are apart, arms are out front. We're just going to turn to one side, turn to the other. Turn to one side and the other. Always remembering to pivot on that back foot to protect those knees. Just give me two more times. Now hands are on the hips. We're just going to come up onto the toes back down onto the heels. Warming up the calf muscles, warming up the ankles. And then we're gonna get your heart rate up. Simple side step. We're gonna step from one side, then to the other. Feel like you're dancing, getting it going, just getting the heart rate up. Just simple movement, side to side. Now we can add in a knee pull. One side, then the other. Just pulling the knee up and down. Now let's work on that quad a little more and just step to the side, hamstrings and quads. Eight. Now we're gonna go back to the top and work on your coordination by combining a few of those moves together. So let's go with our windmill, arms are out front, both arms this time. Bigger, faster movement, second time through. This time we're gonna do the shoulders and the triceps at the same time. So hands come in, we push up and back, up and back. Second time through, bigger movements here, stretching as high as you can, reaching out back. Let's warm up the sides of the body again, one side, then the other. Over and back. Really reaching a little bit further each time. Let's go back to that calf stretch, opening up the back. Heel comes forward. This time, bigger movement. Really stretch out the chest. If you've been sitting down all day, 
This exercise is perfect to get the blood flowing through your legs, opening up the chest and back. Let's go back to that upper body pivot. Let's look a little more athletic this time. Little lower. One side, then the other. Let's go back up onto the toes. Hands on hips, up onto the toes. Here we go. And now let's go into our side step. A little bit faster this time. Getting a little lower, a little bit more athletic. Let's add in that knee drive. Moving into our last move now, we're gonna go into our hamstring tap back. So here we go, tap back. Lifting that foot up behind, touching with the hand, warming up the sides of the body and the hamstring. That's it, warm up is over. You should now be ready for your workout. This is a beginner post-workout stretch. It's important after your workout to always stretch your muscles. This is my training partner, Julie. And let's start by stretching out the wrists and the calves at the same time. I love my combo exercises. So let's sit back, pull the toe forward, and then hold on to one hand and pull the wrist back. A lot of the exercises that we do, such as plank and push-up, really involve the wrists. And so I think it's really important that after every workout, you take time to stretch those muscles. Remember, pull the toe towards the shin so that you feel that stretch in the calf. And now let's push ourselves forward, coming up onto the toes. And now let's pull the wrist gently towards you. Staying up on the toes, really feeling that stretch in, in the calf muscles. You want to hold each stretch for 10 to 15 seconds each one. It's plenty. And then you want to just switch sides. What you do on one side, you must always do on the other to stay balanced. So start out pulling the toe back, hand in front. And again, just gently pulling back on the fingers and pulling the toe towards the shin. You should really start to feel that stretch in the back of your leg. I even feel it in my hamstring a little. And then gently rock forward, going back up onto the toes, stretching the wrist in the opposite direction this time. It's great to spend a few minutes after every workout doing a cool down. Helps to just get your mind ready for the rest of your day. Okay, so now bring your feet together. We're gonna to take one arm across the body to stretch out the shoulders and the back. Make sure that you hold above the elbow joint. We never wanna push on our joints. So kind of holding onto your biceps, stretching one arm across the body. And you should really feel that stretch down the back of your shoulder. A lot of people have a tendency to shrug their shoulders up, but don't pull the shoulders down. Extending the neck, feel that stretch. What you do on one side, you always do on the other. Open up and then cross over to the other side. Always feels good to stretch after a workout. Now another muscle that's used a lot with all our plank and push-ups is the triceps. So let's go ahead, take one arm over the back Holding just above the elbow, you want to try and extend the hand down the back. So you're using this top hand to gently push down. What you want to be aware of for this exercise is that you're keeping your chest lifted and that your hand is not pushing your neck forward. You want to be looking up in front. Then open up wide and then repeat on the other side. For some people, they're not very flexible in their shoulders, and that's okay, just work with it. One day at a time, a few seconds at a time. This is a great stretch to do while you're sat at your desk too. And now from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it to the floor and stretch out the lower body. So go ahead, sit down first, and then slowly roll out back. You wanna have one leg straight, Bend one knee, holding just below the knee, 
you want to go ahead and pull your knee into your chest and just hold right there. This is great for stretching out the hips. You should feel this stretch through the hips. You'll feel it through the hamstring. And also, if you pull in tight, you can feel a stretch in your upper back too. Go ahead, slowly release, put one foot down and then lift up the other. Go ahead and hug it as tight to your chest as you can. Keeping the toe flexed. Enjoy that stretch. Feel it in the inner thigh. And then you wanna go ahead and roll over onto your side because now we're gonna stretch out the quad muscle. So roll onto your side, get comfortable. Go ahead, hold onto your foot and you just wanna gently Holding your foot, just pull back and you should feel this stretch right down the front of your quad. Feel the front of your legs stretching out, especially if you've been doing squats. And then we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn over onto our other side and go ahead and do that quad stretch on the other side. Really feel that stretch down the front of the thigh. You want to deepen the stretch, go ahead and push your foot into your hand and that will deepen the stretch. It's really important after every workout that you spend some time working on your flexibility with a cool down stretch. <laughs> 